Hello, and welcome. I am Exit Light, and this is my channel. Today we're going to do another segment on the most haunted places in America. Before we get started, if you would please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to be seen and recommended. And if you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you click that bell, you will be notified when my content goes live. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's go. All right, well, today we're gonna start in Illinois, the McPike Mansion. Perched over the town of Alton, atop its highest point, Mount Lookout Park, historic McPike Mansion is a hot spot for paranormal investigators who claim to feel the presence of its original owners, Eleanor and Henry McPike, as well as other residents. Some even believe that the haunts date back to before the house was even built, with detections of Native American spirits and a residue from a possible underground railroad stop. Overall, more than 11 spirits have been experienced throughout the home. Alton is considered one of the most haunted small towns in America, and other eerie spots include a Confederate prison, a school, and a church. All right, we're going to move on to Indiana. The Story Inn. Built in 1851, the Story Inn is the only structure still standing from the small mining town of Story, which went defunct during the Great Depression. Restored in the 1960s, the inn now serves as a quaint bed and breakfast with a resident ghost. For years, visitors have documented their ghostly encounters in the inn's guest book, namely with the Blue Lady, thought to be Dr. George Story's wife. She's said to appear if you turn on a blue light in one of the rooms above the restaurant. If you smell cherry tobacco, her favorite, she's already come and gone. Cherry tobacco is also one of my favorite scents. Maybe someday I'll be a lady in blue. All right, now we're on to Kansas. The Sally House. Once the home and office of a doctor, the Sally House in Atchison is said to be haunted by a six-year-old girl who died on the operating table during a botched appendectomy. Tony and Deborah Pickman, a couple who rented the house in the 1990s, claimed that a ghost frequently attacked Tony, leaving visible scratches on his back, chest, and arms, though she never harmed Deborah or their baby. Today, tours and overnight stays are now available at the home. Known as the most haunted town in Kansas, Atchison is a popular destination for paranormal enthusiasts and offers cemetery tours, haunted trolley rides, and ghost hunts. All right, we're going to swing over to Maine. Mount Hope Cemetery. One of the nation's oldest cemeteries, Mount Hope in Bangor, Maine, may look familiar to fans of the movie Pet Cemetery, adopted from Stephen King's 1983 horror novel. King himself made a cameo in a scene that was filmed here, in which he played a minister presiding over a funeral. Plus, actual gravestones in the cemetery inspired the names of some of his most well-known characters. Carrie, from the 1974 novel of the same name, and George, from 1986, It. Many fans of the author make the journey to Banger each year to see the places that inspired him, and this is a must-visit stop. And now Maryland. Antietam National Battlefield. With 23,000 soldiers killed, wounded, or missing, the bloodiest battle of the Civil War took place at near Sharpsburg in 1862. Today, visitors to the battlefield have reported hearing gunfire or smelling gunpowder when no one else was in sight or seeing mysterious figures in Confederate uniforms some also claim to have spotted strange balls of blue light at Burnside Bridge, where many soldiers were hastily buried. And now we're on to Michigan. 
Mackinac Island. I want to go here so bad. If you've ever been here, please leave a message below and tell me if it's as beautiful and quaint and apparently haunted as it looks. This is the site of two major battles during the War of 1812 and a host of other violent events over the years. This picturesque island is actually a hotbed of paranormal activity. One notably haunted spot is the Drowning Pool, where a witch hunt was conducted in the 1700s and the early 1800s. Seven women who were accused of being witches were thrown into the water with rocks tied to their feet. If they sank, they were deemed innocent. Other spooky spots include the Grand Hotel, said to be haunted by an evil entity with glowing red eyes, and Mission Point Resort, reportedly haunted by a young college student who committed suicide. Please leave a comment below. Tell me if you've been there and if you love it. Now we're going to be at Mississippi for the last one, the McRaven House. I have spoken about this home several times in videos and podcasts, and I wrote a story about this home. It is stunning, and it's a must-see if you ever go to Vicksburg. So let me tell you about it. Built in 1797 and expanded in 1836, in 1849, the McRaven House in Vicksburg has been called a time capsule of the South because each addition left the previous rooms untouched. Several former residents died in the home, and it served as a Confederate field hospital during the Civil War. Two factors that have made the property ripe with paranormal activity. Also, it was directly on the Trail of Tears, and to this day, there are still human bones found on the property. Many people, women, children, soldiers, died here and residents of the home, and the bones they find, some of them have saw marks on them. It is said that they got so many amputations at this field hospital that they could amputate a leg in 15 seconds. Mary Elizabeth Howard is said to be the most active spirit, the lady of the house. She died in 1836, shortly after childbirth in one of the upstairs bedrooms. McRaven offers haunted tours year-round and is also available for paranormal investigations. And I went on a history tour and a haunted tour and my husband, who used to be a skeptic, had one of his first paranormal experiences in this home. So I highly recommend it. It, you just, the story of the property is incredibly sad. And um, I think you can feel it. Vicksburg in general is something that if you go to Mississippi, I would highly suggest that you stop by Vicksburg if you can and enjoy the city because it is beautiful and it has so much history. And go to the McRaven House. I highly recommend it. All right. Thank you for coming to my channel. Good night.